you have traveled now for a month, month and a half. Seasons have changed uh, over and it's it's a, there's a slight chill in the air uh, where you're here. Oh, that's this is good. I didn't even start. My gosh, uh, I didn't even start the, the giveaway yet. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. All right. Now, if you enter, uh, yeah, exclamation point ticket, you will get uh, you will be able to get tickets um, and you can buy up to 10 tickets. Uh, but Kofi Coffee, Co, 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 Co people, if you are a Kofi sub, a new sub, uh, you get bonus entries into the giveaway. And remember, th some things that are up uh, is a $300 gift certificate to Reaper Miniatures. So get in on that. Nope. Okay. Um, so months have gone by and uh, uh, seasons have changed. The chill is in the air and you find yourself finally, uh, you see beyond this forest that you are currently taking respite and you see a vast ocean, uh, a, a sea, an inland sea um, in front of you. And, and uh, Glorfindel, Bundush, you know this. This is the Sea of Rune. Um, uh, you have um, gone through many villages and uh, in the east. And what you all have found, especially Alatar and Palando, you have been so curious and um, um, wanting to know what motivates the people of this land and what what is driving them and uh while an overwhelming sense of evil has certainly fallen over this land uh the the people are still fighting for their day-to-day -day, um needs and uh you have heard the name Kamul uh, as a king and uh, K-H-A-M-U-L um, and Kamul has uh, has an iron grip on on the people and has been guiding them and gathering an army to join forces with Sauron uh, under Sauron really and um, they are preparing an attack on a region. Uh, they're going to march from the east and uh, cross the mountains and join Sauron's forces from the north that are currently attacking a region. This, if he's allowed to do this, will completely uh, outnumber the elves that are fighting and um, they will not be able to uh, live from uh, or make it <laughs> basically. Um, so uh, you basically f spend the night in this forest and uh, you wake up the next day and head out to where this war camp is, essentially. And from a, a, a cliff just outside the, the forest, you're able to look down into the camp um, and you see this uh, a light snow uh, has started to fall and um, you see many tents uh, set up and you see several Easterlings uh, that the, the people of the East um, are there along with um, warriors uh, and um, suddenly you hear uh, this massive boom uh, come from overhead and a shadow just falls over all of you. As you look up, you see massive black leathery wings stretching out, covering up the sky and sending everybody into shadow as it flies over you, pulls up and you can see that there's a figure riding on top of this, this creature. Um, Glorfindel, you recognize this creature. This is Ghostir. Ghostir is a dragon of the old age. And um, 
Ghost here is huge. Uh, this is one of the largest dragons that you have ever seen. Uh, the rest of you are sort of taken aback, and Sauron and Glorfindel, um, you regard this with interest. The rest of you give me a fear roll. Give me a spirit roll. <laughs> at a Give minus up, at a minus up. two. Well, I get a plus two because I'm brave. Yes, if you are brave, you get a plus two. Do I have anything? I don't think I have So it's just a so it's just a straight up no, I think Bundish is unfortunately <laughs> Bundish is the only man in this. You said <laughs> ring around <laughs> your uh your finger. That's gonna help you, right? Yeah. I only it, 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 it's not gonna help me here. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh. oh. Hey, hey, hey Drac, what'd you do to the dice, buddy? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. What'd you uh, do? Uh, I wish I knew. Um, <laughs> I think it might be a generational thing. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Dom, really quickly, yeah. I, I don't know um, all the specifics. Um, even if you like go through like days and weeks and months in one session, does your sheet stay the same or does it like reset after like a you, rest or whatever? You reset. So whatever power points you spent, you gotcha. all have your power points back. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't yeah. sure. I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you. that's a good question. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I definitely Thanks. use some stuff. So. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, Thanks. there were other things that were going to happen in between there, but we don't really have time for them. So, um, fair. Yeah. Uh, so uh let me see what did y'all what did y'all roll um palando you got a three bundash you got a zero um okay and alatar you got a seven so uh yeah. alatar uh you um wow <laughs> holy cow this is a creature that's giant um bundash and palando uh this is terrifying i mean more like Bundish, you have heard of dragons before, and certainly the dwarves have encountered dragons before. Dragon fire is something that is uh, a, a a a crucial element in the lore of your people, um, and uh, this is this is a creature that can basically take all of the things that you treasure. Uh, away from you. Palando, not only is this a um, an exemplary example of a creature of Middle Earth, but it is also terrifying to behold. It is uh, just massive horns and a frill on its on the back of its neck protecting its neck. Huge, huge leathery wings with giant arms with with just um raptor like claws on on the bottom of them and these yellow piercing eyes that you see and as it banks to the right in front of you you see that there is a rider on top and the rider uh is wearing a helmet with with horns on it um and uh let me see here i can do this yeah there we go um a long cape and uh, black armor with with a red tinge to to it, and um, Ghost here swoops around and then lands in the center of camp, completely like its wings enveloping the camp, which it then tucks behind its back gently so as not to uh, disturb the tents which billow in the wind, and then uh, the this person gets off of ghost here seems to make some uh message to uh the people outside of this tent and it goes inside the tent uh here the upper left tent and uh ghost here then in a huge sweep pushes off and dust and sand goes everywhere and snow swirls as Ghostier takes flight again and then flies over you, apparently not seeing you thanks to your 
cloaks of elven kind. Um, so yeah. I, I like take some steps back, almost trying to follow it, um, ghost here as it flies over and I just trip over my own feet and just fall on my ass. Good. Gods, are we? What is that? No, it's very big though. Yes, oh, that's Ghost the Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> kind of crazy. Okay. Huh. okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's gotten bigger since the last time I was here. Huh. Maybe by yeah, like 20% or something. Huh. Uh-huh. But it's okay. I've also gotten stronger since my respite back in Valinor. Oh. You don't have to keep bringing that up. We've been together for months now. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm terrified beyond the capacity for reason. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, though. What's wrong? Oh, it's just the majesty and horror of, of the creations of Iluvatar. <laughs> oh. Um, and I just, like, go over and just give it, like, their, their pat on its hand. Yeah. Oh. Fine. And this is why we should not underestimate Sauron. Yeah. With beast and dragons and creatures at his whim. It is very apparent that if we are not ready, and he looks directly at Glorfindel, and if we are not careful, we could all cease to exist. Ooh. Well, Ooh, yes, jolly you good. shall it cease to exist. <laughs> wow. That feels Ooh. very pointed for Glorfindel. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, me? Yeah. I don't, I don't, am I picking up? Is there something going on? Yeah, is there something there? happening here? What's going on? I thought you were I should, I, I, I should say you was all y'all. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alatar is doing what Alatar is doing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And yeah. I think Bundesh is like, no one can dislike me. That's not possible. So I think he's still like, it's Glorfindel, right? What a Glorfindel do? Can I make a I notice know. roll to see why there's so much tension? <laughs> <laughs> I love. <Yeah. laughs> um, uh, you actually all can give me a um, common knowledge roll. All, all, or just him? Uh, all of you, and oh. and Bundush, you get a plus two to this. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Rolled a two. Well, that's, you got a plus two. Well, so I mean, that's a success. Yeah, that's a success. Four. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay. Damn, oh, wow. To... Saruman. All right. Um, so everybody but uh, Palando and Glorfindel, um, which is funny. No, I got a five. Sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I got five. You got a five. You got a three. Pal- Pal- oh, oh, you know, oh. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, five. Yes. Uh, so, yep, 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 yep. Okay, great. Yes, everyone except for Glorfindel. Everyone except for Glorfindel, you do know that one of the ways to destroy rings of power is Dragon's Breath. And Ghostir is one such dragon who has the ability to breathe fire. Um, Bundush, you you are acutely aware of the fact that Dragon Flame can do this. Um, You also uh, give me a, a spirit roll. Bundush. My most lucky stat. Yeah, you're going to be yeah. great. Hey, you got okay. a four. There you go. I'm making it. <laughs> so <laughs> you feel a, as uh, as you see uh, Ghostier and uh, Kamul, you get a, a, again, up this pulse of energy emanating from your ring. And it sort of... Uh, you get a sense that you're not alone. Oh. You are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, um, anyway, you see the field below you. You see this war camp and you see people uh, working, bringing carts in, setting up tents. Uh, there's people practicing, uh, uh, you know, doing fighting and stuff like that and just just general uh milling about uh, as it were as a camp as kamul enters their tent now we are going to do a dramatic task 
This dramatic task is done similarly to a combat in the sense that um, we will be doing it in initiative order. Uh, the thing is, you have basically, you need to get 16 successes in four rounds. Your options are defeat Kamul, which does not count towards the successes. That's not towards the dramatic task. That's just a thing. Um, or convince the army that they need not follow Sauron. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So, I love it. So you have you have four rounds to get sixteen successes to convince the army they do not need to follow Sauron and they are better than that. And or you can defeat Kamul. Okay. So okay. If, if we, if like maybe like half of us get uh, successes toward the army and the other half get toward defeating uh, Kamul, will we win? <laughs> like, will it still be a victory <laughs> if it's split? If you defeat Kamul, it that's sort of an auto win. Um, okay. That's yeah. but 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 any successes you get towards fighting Kamul do not equate to successes to convincing Got anybody. It. So Got yeah. It. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Now, I... if you get a raise on any of your rolls, that also counts as a success. Okay. Okay. Including raises against Kamul. No. Okay. Kamul is an that... entirely different. <laughs> yeah. Any combat, any combat against Kamul or, or anybody does n is not. So count it's as so a it's success. like our, our main. I don't want to say our main, but for easier way of saying it, our main thing is to try to get sixteen successes. However, if during those four rounds we beat Kamul, we just get it. Yes. Cool. Yes, or if right. you don't in those four rounds get it, then regardless, then, you're going to have to. Yeah, you exactly. have to defeat Kamul. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I get it. 16 and 4. So we need yeah. four successes per round, so only one of us can mess up. <laughs> oh, perfect. It's fine. Hey, I got it. What do you do? <laughs> it? <laughs> I'm going to fail constantly, so I'll take the... Stop, no! <laughs> <laughs> I just accepted it, you know. <laughs> So if we get a raise, that counts as two successes. Yeah. Yes. Against okay, cool. against if we're doing um, convincing stuff. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Got it. Correct. And and as many if you keep getting raises, if you keep acing that die, that's as many successes as you get basically. So you could incredible. you could do it in one round if you get a, an incredible <laughs> die roll. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. okay. So let me just for now. I'm I think going all to... of my social stuff is my worst. Um, if you oh, good. Who... Hey, every, <laughs> we all have our skills. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I even have my skills. Hey, <laughs> hey. You're great at digging, bud. Yeah, no, it was, it was honestly tunnel, pretty dig, quick. Dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel. Stop, you Okay, there we go. Uh, cards are up. Ooh. So, Sauraman, you are up first. So just oh, to kind of oh sorry one huge thing dramatic tasks if you have a club you are at a minus two to anything you try to do okay um, this is that Thank only God. is affecting hey, people trying to do that. trying to do the uh, convincing part let's okay not have a, let's not have a okay if, number three if you <laughs> critically fail with a club if you critically fail with a club you the dramatic task is done and ah. you fail. Now, you can get a new action card if you give me a Benny. Hey, so currently, currently, uh, none of you have a club. So you're you're oh, okay God. this round. But Ooh, if you want a higher card, does. if you want a higher card, you can give me a, a Benny as well, and I will give hey, you Dom, a better card. Yes. Stop trying to convince us to accidentally give ourselves a club. That yeah. part. I see um, you. I see you. Okay, and then so there's all these people around. Is it are we seen yet? Like I'm just trying to figure out. Like are we just walking into this space? Like behold, totally, totally up to you how you want to approach this at this point. So you are you are currently unseen on a cliff, but if you want to just kind of come down the cliff, um, and uh, it, it's it's slopey, oh, so it's, we're you're not unseen. Like or... Cute, it... uh, because uh, Saruman has been watching and sees this dragon and sees you know 
the the problem at hand and right now he really wants to make sure that sauron does not come back to their full extent so if that means convincing people to not follow sauron and perhaps follow somebody else or you know whatever the case may be that's better than having you know absolute dark lord and um he knows sometimes you have to fight power with power um and he begins to walk down and as he's walking he like hits the ground and each step he hits the ground again with his staff and each step he hits the ground again um and he takes maybe like six steps and on that last step um he strikes the ground so hard and causes an earthquake oh okay um and I, I'm I, I get the spell casting role. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, as he's causing the ground to start to tremble, um, it kind of starts from this low uh, decrescendo uh, or a low, you know, uh, uh, mezzo piano, um, mm-hmm. slowly mm-hmm. rising up in power and 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 sound um, as his voice echoes forth, and he says, "This is the wrong way. You follow them, you die." Is that what you want? Um, and he's trying to, he's definitely trying to be intimidating, mm-hmm. being like, you know, you're following the wrong beach and you can go down with them if you want to, but you probably shouldn't. So um, this could be a multi action uh, casting. That's fair casting the earthquake and then giving then uh giving me an intimidation roll however i will give you a plus one to your intimidation roll because of the earthquake and i get a plus two to intimidation regardless yeah so that's a, that's a plus three so so it would be a it would be a plus one with a negative two for yes. the multi-action yes i'll, I'll take that yeah do you care oh, oh no i was gonna say do you care about the multi-action penalty but i think that's for like what less than a <laughs> I do not care about it. <laughs> right. I thought so. <laughs> um, um, uh, so let me first do the spell casting roll to make sure that I can do Earthquake. Um, make sure I can do it to what I need, to the effect that I want. Um, that's a nine. That's a success with the raise. Great. I'll take that. And yep. So that's two successes already. And then Intimidation with a plus one. I'll get that. You just need that name say one because you can't just add it natively. Uh, yes. Oh! Oh! What? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. So let's see. That's one, two, three. Add, add a plus to it. It's 22. Okay. Uh, I think we won the skill challenge. Time to go home. Yeah. I think we did. Yeah, Saruman Solos. That's good. <laughs> Very different approach than I was going to take, but hey, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've now racked up six uh, successes. Very good, and and you you do say this, and it has import. The the earthquake causes everyone to look your way and uh, they kind of shudder in fear and they see that you are powerful. There, There is something to your words and maybe the power they sought in Sauron and Kamul is maybe not as much as what they see from you. Kamul never caused an earthquake to happen. And he says, uh, I guess to finish the moment, um, his hair kind of like flowing a little bit. You see kind of the color scintillating um, in, in, in the robe. And he says, many say that men are weak. Not all men are, Ugh. but that <laughs> one is. Hmm. Also, yeah, F man. But <laughs> <laughs> listen, it's an issue when Tolkien calls everybody man. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yes, I know. Yeah. Listen, Did Saruman just say not all men, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, canceled. And he's white. Oh my god, Karen. Uh, <laughs> that's me. Not, you know, not only does he say say all men, he he uses men like interchangeably for for no matter what uh, oh. you identify as. But then he g- brings it back in Return of the King and says, "Oh no, no, a hobbit and a and a woman don't count as men." <laughs> because oh, they can, they can, Lord of the yeah. Rings is very cool, and we should all like it a lot. I know. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Anywho, that's cool. me, and I definitely I need to move myself. I definitely stepped forward. I'm yeah. probably like, yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Does Saruman like put a pot on their head? Because like you've got big like let me solo her energy. <laughs> that was uh, nice. Palatar. Six, Palatar. six successes. Let's go. Yeah, that's nice. You only have t ten more to go, and you're still in the first round. That's wild. Okay. We can uh, see you down one round. We got this. Polando <laughs> will kind of step up uh, behind this tent, uh, and then I'm going to have a slightly different approach. I'm going to use an illusion. Uh, uh, I'm going to cast an illusion near like the group that's by that fire. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's do some spell casting to see if I can successfully cast an illusion. Uh, mm -hmm. Five. Yes. So just barely. Uh, just like uh, a, a, like a, a random Easternling like kind of steps out of out from behind nothing and like joins like the group there and goes, I mean, he's got my vote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. This this person just kind of appears out of nowhere and uh, just uh huh nods. Yes, this is happening. <laughs> All right. So that's that's one success. Very good. Let's go. Okay, but all is not Re cheery. Re um, really quickly. Uh, yes. Was my I'm I, I'm going to go look it up too, um, because again the sheet that we have is slightly different from the one that's in the thing. Yeah. Um How many PP? PP. <laughs> how many PP was it for earthquake? Was it uh, is the equivalent to storm or? Yes. Okay, so that's seven. All right. I just wanted to make. I wasn't sure. I just wanted to make sure. Cool. Uh, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you see one of the orcs who is uh, in front of Kamul's tent um, is uh, unaffected by the earthquake or anything, um, and their allegiance is fully to Sauron. Uh, and begins advancing towards you, Sauron, um, but does not get to you this turn. You better give me 50 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Bundish. Um, Bundish is literally only good for fighting. Um, so so <laughs> I think seeing this orc approach Sauron, I'm going to move forwards a bit and just... Um, just throw my hand back, just lo lob it at this orc trying to come close to Saruman. Do it, yeah. Um, and so that's going to be a athletics roll. Yeah. Am I going to risk making the multi action? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. If you want to do, do you want to do something else? I think with my luck, no. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to play it safe and hope for the best. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. there it is. <laughs> there it is. Esports. Uh, Esports. Oh Esports. E the one time yeah. you played safe. The no. one time. God damn it. That is no. three successes. Very nice. Oh, wait, no, you're combating. You're not, you're not, you're not doing anything. Yeah, so sorry. Those, combat. So, those don't, yeah. those don't. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, what are I, you? I got dumb. excited. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I almost screwed up, you guys. Um, no! <laughs> yes. Also roll damage. Uh, yes, please roll damage. Ugh. Oof. It doesn't matter. Uh, it you, just looks really cool. And you have no more bennies left, is that no correct? Bennies. Yes. <gasps> folks, folks, I'm telling you. Subs hey, at least for me, do it for me. You subscribe know, for on me. our Ko-Fi. That's what this whole thing is for. If we can get to uh, 200 uh, Ko-Fi subscribers, we're at 89 right now. If we get to 200, we basically can essentially keep things open. We can pay off our bills and keep this, the channel running. I'm just going to do this super briefly. But we're, yeah, that's, we can do that. If we hit 400, we can do new shows. If we hit uh more than that we can do even if we hit 600 we can do a whole new uh rpg exploration society or potentially another show uh in addition to a bunch of other things so listen uh, listen y'all yeah. 
a Lord of the Rings continuation show with these people could be a possibility if you if subscribe survives. to yeah, if, Bund- yes. <laughs> if Bundy That's... specifically survives. <laughs> yes, if Bundy survives. <laughs> yes. Bundy survives. <laughs> give me these bennies. No one else is going to survive. That's fine. But you don't give me these bennies. <laughs> it's all it's all on Ko-Fi though. So uh, I thank you very much for if you are a Twitch subscriber. Uh, I, I super appreciate you. That definitely helps. But Ko-Fi is what we're pushing for. So consider backing us on Ko-Fi uh, and and uh, um, getting in on that. You you get entries into our drawing and uh, you get you get to give bennies and stuff like that. It's really cool. So uh, alas. Three points of damage does not appear to do anything to the orc. The the axe goes flying and impales the orc uh, directly and goes in and the orc just kind of looks, pulls it out and drops it on the ground. Uh, um, again, <laughs> Bund- only my ears. Bundush, Bundush is the Hawkeye of this group. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I threw my axes. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am done. Um, all of a sudden the tent kind of uh, um, explodes open the the flaps just just fly open and onto the field marches Hamul who looks um, he's bigger than the others he's bigger even than the orcs Uh, he's bigger than all of the other warriors around here uh taller more muscular and uh you see his eyes are a orange uh eye that glow from beneath his helmet and um he sees you and he almost laser focus looks at Sauron and uh just says, you are not wanted here. And that you is... You say that as if you have a choice. <laughs> that is what Kamul will do. All right. Quick question. Yes. Do I... So that I could feel that I'm not the only one with a ring here. I'm guessing Kamul... Am I getting like... I'll probably just look at his hand. Uh, do I see a ring on it? Okay. You do. Yes. Uh, it's like, don't I beat your ass in a movie coming up? Like, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, another orc moves towards you, Sauron, and thank you, thanks so much, Kaga. Thank you, thanks for subbing. Uh, let us know. Oh, uh, to CB. All right, CB, you got a, you got a, uh, you got a Benny. Oh wait, no wait, no wait, 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 no, that was, that was sorry, that was, uh, that was lust for life. X. Think, Kaga, oh you, uh, let us know where you want that Benny to go to. Uh, cough, 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 cough. Give it to Drac. Cough. Right. Yeah. yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah we're please, good. please, please. I'm not saying I don't it would want be something, funny but if you didn't, but don't. I, yeah, exactly. It'd be very funny if you didn't, but hey, I would. I would <laughs> see you laugh if you Can I give the bad guy a Benny? What? <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Um. Uh. All right. So then a warrior also moves up, and this Y'all orc too close. moves up. And now Glorfindel. Glorfindel. Ah, as Saruman would say, you are (laughs) but a whelp of Sauron. And like a whelp, you shall fall by my arrow. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Glorfindel is all here for the glory. They have a personal vendetta against Sauron. They're going to go for the fight. Uh, They take out an arrow from their quiver. Right, they string their magical bow. Uh, I'm not sure how ranges work, but they can step forward to try to uh get a clear shot uh sure. feel free to just move my move my f- figure for me i can't move it for some reason uh and oh. i actually have been neglecting my marksman ability so if my first action is a bow attack i can add a plus one to the shooting row which i'm going to 
do. Um, then I'm also going to enhance. So it adds another plus one to shooting and damage. That's a plus two. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be shooting plus two. First, you need to make a, a uh, um, make, it, make your shooting roll as if it were a spell casting roll first so that you can actually activate the enhance feature. Okay. Uh, how do I do spell casting? <laughs> just, just roll your shooting roll. Um, okay. Without any um, bonuses. Correct. Okay. Okay. So you can you can yet. Yeah, so now the enhance is in effect for that arrow. So now you get the bonus to your shooting roll, like you like you want. Got it. So that's a plus two because my yes. first attack is also a uh, thing. Okay. So yes. let's do that plus two to whatever this is. Plus two to that. Uh, so that's a so nine. nine. So that's a uh, that's a success with a raise. And you're trying to hit this orc. No, I'm trying to oh. hit the the chief bastard. Oh, uh, okay. Kamul. You're trying to hit. You're trying to hit Kamul. Oh, okay. Kamul. Yeah. Uh, that is that is a success with a raise. Roll me damage. Nice. Okay, I get a plus one to this damage. So that's a two d six plus two in total. Uh, three three d six plus two. Okay, so that is gonna be. Oof. 11. I'm going to spend a Benny, my last Benny. Let's do it. Benny you, rolled an, you rolled an 11? I did. Okay. I did. I feel like that's not going to clear it, though. I feel like his toughness is higher. Um, uh, so. Okay. Oh, God. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too late. 3d6 plus 2. Let's do it. Ooh, 14. <sighs> 14 great that is a uh success and um uh actually i hate to do this to you oh, but no. <laughs> uh kamul has dodge which means that uh oh, ranged no. attacks to hit him are at a minus two um so okay. what did what did you get to to hit uh i had a seven um so that's a five, I guess. So that's a five. So that's still a success. So that's good. <laughs> uh, and then uh, 14. Um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No, I'm still going to give it to you. Um, yeah. Okay. He's shaking. Nice. Yeah. Shake him up. Let's go. Okay. Um... And uh, Palando, uh, you get a Benny from Kaga. <gasps> ah, thank you. Um, Wrong button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that one. one. That's the Benny. <laughs> yeah. There, you're at two, right? Now? I Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I can fix it. I immediately oh. waste it. <laughs> <laughs> Spent. Um, all right. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Glorfindel. Um, yeah, Glorfindel's just gonna say, like, after the arrow, let's say, like, hits his, like, shoulder or something, uh, slightly lower the bow, but still keeps it taut. Uh, the next one's gonna go right between the eyes, so we're gonna give you one last chance to, uh, <laughs> turncoat this situation here before we lay waste <laughs> to this entire establishment. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Al uh, an Easterling warrior moves closer to you, Sauron, and Alatar, it is your turn. Okay, Alatar has spent the last month trying to understand people and their weird uh, meat beast forms and uh, was considering trying to make uh, a logical plea to self-preservation and love of the world, uh, but then watched Saruman absolutely scare the piss out of everyone and went, nope, actually, that's better. I'm going to do that. Uh, so I want to walk <laughs> as close as I need. I don't know what my range is, but I would love to use my uh, telekinesis on Kamul himself to force him to kneel. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's sexy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, your pace is six, so you can move six squares. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the range is on my uh, telekinesis because oh. I don't see it. So I don't know how You're, far uh, away. The range is 24 be. squares. Okay. So I think I've got that. Let's see. Where are you? You're up, up there. Yeah. 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 Oh, then it's I don't have to be that much closer. So I will just sidle up next to Palando, uh, bestie, 
and be like, okay, hold on. I'm going to try something. Uh, I'm going to be very scary. Watch. And I get, uh, interpose myself. And then, yeah, uh, uh, spell casting to try to make. Oh, me- I'm wrong. Sorry. It's a range of 12. It's a range ah, of 12. Beans. That's so, so much So he is, he is uh, 19 away from you currently. So you oh, can so move. I can't even get there. You can move. Uh, no. You can move six. That'll put me not quite in range. You can you can run, uh, but that would then involve a multi action penalty if you want to. Uh, um, Look. Also do something. I will take it, because if this works, it's cool, and if not, okay. Oh well, let's try it. Okay, so to run, roll me a d six. No wild die, just Actually, a straight d six. I think D6. you can you can hmm? make it if you go. If your movement is six, that'll get you here. And then that's, oh, no, no, that's 13. That's one yeah. way. We're always so close. Uh, sure, it's just in, just a, just a D6. Just a D6. All right. Cool, okay. a one. That's Perfect. all you needed. That's all you needed. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, I feel like all the six, singular seven. D6s we've rolled have always just been one. Yeah. So you can move right here. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, let's fire it up. This is going to be fine, actually. <laughs> there you go. So uh, your telekinesis is going to be. Um, uh, spell casting. Yeah, cool. cool. Let's do that. Or actually, sorry, sorry. Um, you're basically trying to attack Kamul. Okay, I hear you. It is a spellcaster roll, and I want to make it very clear that I'm not trying to hurt his body. Just make it bend at the look. I'm look. I'm new. I'm new to bodies, <laughs> but this is a part that bends on its own all the time. And I... I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to assist with a thing that he does on his own all the time. I'm going to. I'm just going to allow it. Uh, just because we're short on time, but technically, <laughs> technically, uh, he would have an opportunity. Well, he will have an opportunity to, to resist this, but uh, it would be either spellcasting or athletics because you're trying to basically force him down and whichever skill is lower. Yeah, um, it would absolutely this. be athletics. So, do you want to do that? Um, do uh, yeah. Sh- Give me spell casting. Let's let's see what you could do. You are a merciful lord. Thank <laughs> you. All right. How'd we do? Mediocre. So okay. That's that's a success. Um are are you trying to do this to uh for the for the people watching to see that Kamul is weak? Or are you yes, trying to uh- because there's Kamul. a second half of this. Because I also oh. have free telepathy that I can communicate with uh, everyone. Look, I can read my character sheet. What any or all. Yeah, any or all within uh, 24. Yeah, 24. That's, that's why I got mixed up because the telepathy is 24. But yeah. Yes. So I just want to start passing off. If if I got him to kneel, then I want to start like sending into the minds of the soldiers like, okay, all will kneel. Nice. All will kneel. Run. All right, come on. Roll bad, please. Fail, 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 fail. Please roll bad. Fail, 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 fail. Do bad. Do bad, do bad. Oh, yeah. He did bad. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm not even going to re roll it. So, yeah, come on. So, that's one success for you. One more success. Uh, Kumul goes down on one knee and he you can see him fighting and the ring on his finger begins glowing a, a deep orange glow. Nice. Oops. OK, uh, next up is. The last orc. No. The last orc. Oh, what no, I'm my bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought bad. Uh, Oop. And uh, who's going to uh, take a swing at you? Uh, isn't he scared of me, though? Because I... No. Because I did whispers <laughs> in some people's no. brains. <laughs> but he didn't, he didn't hit you. Um, so that's fine. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. Um, 
Let's see where we end up here. Rumpelstiltskin. Okay, uh, Ace of Clubs, Glorfindel. Do you want a new card? King of Clubs, oh. Alatar. Do you want a new card? Uh, yes. And everybody else is good. Yeah, I couldn't come out of Benny fast enough. Was that was Can that I you, Glorfindel, that spent the Benny? No, that's. Oh no, Alatar no, I'm did. out of okay. Benny's. But Can you I know what? Benny you've been you've been fi unless you're trying to not to tell you what to do, but unless you're trying to convince with us. It only it's only effective if you're kind of convinced. I'll just if you're fight fighting him. Yep. Okay. I mean, do you? Do you? I guess. Well, I guess. I guess. Remember no, that's the thing. Absolutely. Yeah, but, continue yeah. to fight. The clubs. The, yeah. yeah. The club doesn't do anything if you're if if you're fighting Kamal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Ace of Hearts. Now, Alatar, you are up first. Sweet. Uh, then I am going to uh, switch targets to the orc in front of me and just yell, "I said kneel." Okay. And you're, are you, um, again, telekinesis? Know. Yeah, ones? telekinesis. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can, yeah, move target. How does this work? Uh, uh, what, what are you trying to do? Yeah, I'm just trying to change targets from Kamul to the orc in front of me. Oh, I, you, you don't need to do that. Um, okay. you just, just Just give me your role, and we know that it's for that orc. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Did it roll? Oh, no. There we go. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a critical can failure. Fail. Okay. Can you, spend Benny? can you spend Benny? I don't think you can. No, you right. cannot re-roll yeah. a critical failure. So, um... Uh, oh, I'm glad I switched my card. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so you say oh. this, you say this, and you reach out with... with the power that you you were like, oh, this was so easy to do the Kamul. I can do this to an orc, no problem. And you reach out and you get a flash of orange and red and a and a bright, gleaming eye wreathed in fire hits your brain. And you get this shock to your system and you take minus one to your fatigue. You take a level of fatigue. Oh, no. Oh, amazing! Dear. Terrible. We are nar. This is going oh, nah. badly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and yeah, nothing, nothing happens. Okay, Glorfindel. Christ Almighty! Okay, yeah, Glorfindel. <laughs> I think <laughs> pegs the fact that uh, Alatar is okay. uh, is like real is real. <laughs> whatever is happening um and is blaming it all on the head honcho in charge so they're just gonna do what they do best they're actually gonna step forward confidently and like approach as they string another arrow just real casually and lift up their like masterwork bow once more uh do i want to tempt fate with Glor glorfindel would i'm gonna play to character glorfindel yeah. would. i said the next shot would go between your eyes uh, and I'm going to call a headshot again. Great. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Cool? This is a bad idea, but I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, well, okay. you're a marksman, so you add two, right? Because this is your first thing. Um, yes. Uh, you're, but it is a minus four uh, to... It says I ignore up to two... I can ignore up to two points of penalties from caught shots. So I'm going to take that trait okay. of marksman. So it's actually going to be a minus two. Yeah. And I'm going to mm -hmm. try to enhance first. Um, so that'll just be a minus one. Um, okay. So do I do a, like a spell casting check first? Yeah, just just, just give me yeah, give me your shooting shooting roll again. That's your that's your spell casting yeah. trick. My regular spell casting. Yeah. Shit. Nope. Okay, so ah! you can okay, you can spend a Benny, uh, but uh, yeah, otherwise I don't have any. Left. It doesn't enhance. So that's so okay. you're at a minus two. That's okay. That's fine. Oh God. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a minus two. Whatever it is. Mm. Oh that's no! Okay. That's, that's okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Figured it would. All right. Do you want to reroll? I can't. Oh, I don't okay. have any bennies. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, if all you have to do, chat, is sub up on our Ko-Fi, and you can yeah. send a Benny to Glorfindel or to Bundush, who needs it desperately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not yeah, doing I enough think... damage. <laughs> That's true. The you're hitting. Just, like, you're hitting fine. Uh, because he also has to dodge. 
Yeah, uh, true, he also yeah. has dodge. So I assume like this guy rolls out of the way as I say that, and boom, like the arrow just like hits the ground next to him. Yes. So yeah, the whatever uh, was holding him to the to the ground before that Alatar did is broken now, and um, uh, he is able to to see this arrow, and he actually turns out of the way and swats it out of the air as he stands back up. I'm sorry, Alistair. I feel like that was my fault. <laughs> no, you're good. It's fine. This is going very badly. Also, I would like to take a nap right here. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Bund- Bundus, you're up. Um, hey, that gamer share. Thank you so much. Let us know whoa! where you want. Let us know where you want that Benny to go. I'm going to talk really slowly so you have time to choose wisely. Yeah, Bundus. <laughs> oh, Kaga, Kaga, you can give two bennies, by the way, Kaga. So you have one more binny that you can give away. Um, but Bundush is going to thank you. I appreciate. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bundush thank you so it. much. Um, we're just gonna take. So I think I have what six, five movement movements. I'm a tiny dwarf. Um, yes. So I'm gonna move my. That's not what I'm meant to do. I'm used. I'm, I'm new to this thing. I don't know to, how do I delete this. I, okay, never mind. Um, I'm gonna move my five. I think I can get up to here. Um, do I feel anything else from this ring on his finger right now? It's just always just that, like, hey, fellow ring wearer. That's, <laughs> and that's, that's it. That's all. Okay. That's all you get. Yeah. Um, I'm, I got short legs. I can't get any closer. And I already threw my axe. Um, I'm going to taunt Come on. Um, I'm going to okay. taunt. Um, and just say, I'm honestly not interested in all these orcs. You, the one that just took a knee, <laughs> you seem adequate fight me and that's gonna be that's gonna be my taunt okay Um, you you actually have um you have an edge called provoke which means that um you can essentially taunt uh beings uh and they take a minus two to their anything that they try to do that isn't directed towards you Mm. yeah but that's if i get a raise i think i have to get a raise for that to work yes yes yeah so I'll just do that and hope for the best. Give me that taunt roll, baby. Nope. Do you want to re-roll uh, it? I don't have a Benny. Oh, wait, you I do. do. You I do. do. Oh, yes. Um, thank you. I'm going to re- use that Benny. Hold on. Okay. Um, there we go. Hey, nice. Yes. All right. That's a 14. Okay. Um, And you're taunting. So you're... uh, Are you taunting in a way um, to um, basically demean Kamul in the eyes of his followers? Yes. I want to like... It's explicitly like remind everyone that you you just took a knee. You took a bolt to the shoulder and then a knee before four people while you're surrounded by your apparently strong army. Um, and now you're going to fall to a dwarf. I just want to telepathically send a bra bra <laughs> out. All right. <laughs> <Support. laughs> I love that idea that Blue Wizard, the Blue Wizards brought that to our realm. Like, this is, I'm okay. actually kind of into this. Yeah, I like, I like that. <laughs> all right. <I> it. <laughs> Six more successes. It's all you need. It's an old Valinorian word. <laughs> <laughs> That's the black speech, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Why's it got to be black? You can't say that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. You're clearly a, a barrel white. I'm, a, yeah, I'm just a barrel white. <laughs> okay. Uh, an orc moves up to you, Bundush, and says, You do not speak to our lord that way, and will attack you. Because why not, you know? 
I uh, don't it think that that gets you. Uh, so yeah, it swings in and misses. Oh, and are you going to do anything about it? Or no, just anything? letting you know. Okay. You don't, you don't <laughs> show you that. Uh, all right, Sauron. End it here. Uh, Six successes right now. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, do I'm it. To try. Um, you got this. Uh, sorry, I need you one quick thing. Um, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. Um, let me guess. Oh, no, Cleor. Why does everything have that word in it? Okay. Um, Sauron. Sauron? You know what? Same difference. Uh, <laughs> Saruman uh, sees, you know, uh, Glorvindil strike, um, attempt to strike with their uh, bow, uh, but the arrow struggles against the might of this ring-wearing man, seeing Alatar uh, get racked in pain. See Palando being Palando uh, and seeing Bundes get threatened by this orc. And you can see that there is a clear annoyance upon uh, Saruman's um, uh, face. Um, and he steps, he has six paces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna, uh, not to use D&D words, but that's not like attack of opportunities or anything, is there in this? Um, uh, there is, uh, there is attack of opportunity, but um, you know what? It's, you know what? It's, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna get right here. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna really pass anybody. Yeah. Um, I walk right past this heathen next to me. Uh, and I look directly at uh, Kamul uh, and look at everyone else. Uh, and I will say, uh, as my voice begins to uh, get thrown out once more, um, Sauron seeks to bathe you in the flame of Melkor. Chaos and destruction are imminent if you give in. But do not take my word as truth. And he raises his staff in the sky. Um, and anyone who speaks, uh, I mean, most of us, other than Bundash, actually speaks Kenya. Uh, um, you'll hear him say, Yalramu Roseho Runya. And as he speaks, um, the clouds begin to swarm above him as he's summoning a firestorm um, to show what uh, Sauron in connection with Morgoth, might do to them, say, this is your fate if you side with him. And this, this flame will have no friend or foe. It will just be. Um, so, spell casting. Uh, we'll start there. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I think Bundesh here. replies, like, just, like, kind of hypes you up in Kenya, because you can also speak, speak that still. <laughs> so yeah. he's like, yeah, I understand it. Uh, <laughs> I can't, no, okay, no, God, no, I, didn't, I, I didn't pick it up. or not. I picked that up. <laughs> no, I <don't> <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a Benny. That was bad. I just don't like that. Um, I can do a lot better than that. Well, I guess what, does using a Benny on this type of role was just making sure it goes through? Did a four make it? A four, yeah, you you cast. You cast successfully. I'd rather yeah. use a Benny on what the effect might be versus it being cast. So yes. let me, sorry, I'm going to let that be for a second. I'm probably sure. going to use a Benny regardless. Um, what should I do as far as my, is that like more intimidating or what is that? Uh, 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 yes, let's, let's give you, let's, um, you tell okay, me. Okay, so so here's the deal. So you spent the Benny. Uh, the Benny gives the storm the effect of a firestorm. And it yes. looks it looks like a firestorm. And it looks, honestly, you made it look kind of like Sauron's eye. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I will say, yeah, it, it's specifically like searing heat and these winds that are going mm -hmm. through. Because I can, I can do that within the spell. Yeah, uh, where yeah. once it was, it the snow was swirling and it was it was cold and and uh, a bite to the air. Suddenly, the the snow ceases around you and and in an area around this camp, it 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 immediately gets um, uh, heated up. Uh, almost superheated and um, this image in the sky appears over you and then you speak these words give me an intimidation roll 
Add a plus one. I did not get under a five. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Plus one. Uh, I'm, I am going to use my last mini. Okay. I can do better than that. Ooh, you got this. I know, I, I know I can do better than that. I can't. Oh my God, I guess jinxed it. Oh gosh, come on, Sauron. Come on, uh, come on, uh. <laughs> hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So that's a 16. 16, okay. That is, um... That is a success with three raises. So that's another one, two, three, four. You have two more successes to go. We got this. Okay. Easterling warrior uh, moves up to you, Sauron, and is going to try to hit you. And doesn't. Okay. Next. He just looks at him. Just You can yeah. see his peasant in his mind. Like, don't touch me. The orc behind <laughs> you is going to try to hit you. Okay, never mind. You're probably going to touch me. <laughs> 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 Do I got like a deflect or something? Uh, that's a five. What's your, um, a four. What's your parry? Your parry it's is a four. a four? Okay, so that yeah. does hit you. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. Uh, that's an 11. What's your toughness? Oh. Not an 11. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Double check. You I'm positive. Check. Uh, my toughness is a five. It's a five. So that's a success with a raise. So you are now shaken and you have one wound. Ah, wow. As as the the storm uh, actually give me a uh, give me a smarts roll. A smarts roll. Yeah. Uh, Just click the I, click the words. I have something with smarts. I have oh. a plus two to any smarts roll. I just had to make sure. OK. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is sorry. a that is a with the minus one with the plus two is a nine. OK, um, that's a success with a race. So uh, you are able to maintain the uh, the the storm. Basically, you you don't lose that. So that <laughs> but yeah, so don't don't forget you are shaken and you have minus one to your Start, future yes. rules. <laughs> Love that bit of voice work. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Y'all know. Listen, we I was just watch, I was watching the fight between Saruman and uh, Gandalf in the in the, in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Old men in wigs grunting. I love it. Mm. Oh, uh, Theria Tan, thank you so much. You have two bennies that you can give to any of players, or you can give them to me. Uh, I the Please players stop. need them. Um, Kamul is now up. Oh, uh, oh boy. And Kamul is going to do what Kamul does. You know, it's... Monologue? Yeah. I did not know. Yes. Yes, the monologue. <laughs> Give up without a fight? That seems good. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I'll do that. Up. Thank you. Um, Kamul just looks at you all and says, these powers are nothing compared to the might of Sauron. And he lifts his ringed hand. And, uh, uh, oh, Saruman, you get two, uh, two bennies, Saruman. I mean, thanks to Theria Tan. Yes. Um, Thank you. He lifts his ringed hand and a, the wind starts picking up at your feet and it starts whipping around as a cyclone begins forming around you and uh you uh are all caught in this um and will be um negatively affected um uh you are all distracted at this point now i can't um, use a power as a reaction <laughs> So yeah, I, I would like to it. cast counter spell. I mean, like I basically <laughs> have counter spell. I mean, it's just my turn to yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to you have to kind of prep prep that stuff a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. 
Uh, yeah, just mark the distracted uh, on your thing. So distracted means you are, are operating, I believe, at a minus two or a minus one. I can't remember. Anyway, well, yeah. You should do it automatically, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, Palatar. All right. Palando is going to step forward with all of I, his I'm friends. shipping Alatar and Palando is what I'm doing yeah. now. I'm going to the same person. Um, uh, Palando is going to use his inherent telepathy to just make a persuasion roll to all of, of the, the good people in this area and, and just see how, how well that goes. So we're going to just... Roll no, that's performance. Wrong button. Uh, persuasion. I'm very good at that, and I'm charismatic, so I can re-roll this if I want, which I do want to. That's one success. I'm gonna re-roll though, because uh, I don't think that that's good enough. Persuasion. Because I'm much better at this. Oh, hey! That's two successes. Yeah. All right. So tell me what you do. I think uh, Palando literally just steps like he's like through the, the like the wind and stuff and just steps like unshaken his his wind blowing in the in back and just in the minds of all the men he just said good friends you have nothing that you need here you can go and you lose nothing but your chains go go with the blessing of Valinor And upon saying those words, the uh, I'm going to narrate here because we're way out of time. But anyway, um, you say those words and Sauron's spell kind of starts to dissipate and the clouds turn to back to kind of a normal snowy gray. And uh, the people, the Easterlings, not the warriors, but the Easterlings kind of look to each other. And they feel as if a veil has been lifted. And um, they thank you. And they turn and they each walk past Kamul. And they spit in his face as they walk Past. And Kamul says, you will not forget this. Lord Sauron will control you one way or another. And they just continue to move past him and spit at him, spit on his armor, spit on his cape, spit on his helmet, spit at his feet. And they all leave. And the Easterling warriors, realizing that they no longer have control of the situation, abandoned Kamul, and they basically make a run for it, uh, some of whom might be uh, clipped. Glorfindel might uh, clip a few. Bundush probably is able to swing and get a few of them down as they go, but uh, the bulk of them just move, they go their separate ways. As this happens, a huge shadow looms over you again as you hear the beating of wings and Ghostier emerges through the clouds and lands in front of you. And turns to look at all of you and turns to look at Kamul and says, you've lost them. Sauron has other uses for you, but they are not here. And he turns to you all uh, and says, you have won the day, but Lord Sauron will win this war, whether you like it or not. S Saruman just looks at this dragon, completely unfazed at their might, um, and just quotes something that he might say again in the future to someone else. He just says, hmm, 
So you have chosen death. <laughs> oh, little wizard. <laughs> death will not come for me now. Neither from you nor any of you. But death will come for me eventually. I see it. You, little one. What is that upon your finger? I just hide my hand. It obviously doesn't help, but I just hide my hand behind my back. <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> and the, the dragon kind of lowers its head and looks at you and kind of its massive neck just goes down. And honestly, the air, everything just kind of goes as the dragon just goes down and goes up to you. Staring, piercing your soul, Bundash. That ring will be your undoing. I can destroy it for you. I take a step back and then pull out my great axe and just go over my dead body. Have Very they invented well. irony in Middle Earth yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, the dragon chuckles and raises back up to its full height. It says, then until next time. And he grabs Kamul in his teeth and bites down. And Kamul appears lifeless in his jaws and goes to here with a huge whoosh takes off again and out and you are left alone in the camp. Thank you. What just happened? And that is where we're going to end it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amazing. Armand just like, oh, so I need to get me a dragon as well. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Smog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smog in comparison to Ghost Ear. Smog is young at this point. And, oh, oh uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. But I mean, just north. you know, yeah. Uh, thank you. Is it like hiccup? Era. Yes. <laughs> I'll train it. Yes. <laughs> How to train your dragon? I'd watch that. <laughs> Sorry, one edition. Uh, thank you all so much. Thanks. Thank you to each of each of you players, and thank you to those of you who subbed up on our Ko-Fi while this was going on and gave out bennies. Um, I'm going to work out uh, the 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 giveaway thing is not working right. So if you if you did the ticket thing, you you may have to do it again. Don't worry, it's not going to affect uh, uh, any of your entries or anything like that. But just you may have to redo it. Uh, but anyway, that's that's enough for me. Let's go around the horn. Everyone tell people where they can find you, uh, starting with Abria. Hi, I'm Abria Iyengar. Follow me on social media at Quiddy, Q-U-I-D-D-I-E. Uh, I stream all over the place. Uh, check out my work over at Critical Role, Dimension 20. And I've got some fun charity games coming up in the holiday season and new announcements soon. Uh, Drac. Oh, I was drinking. Um, hi, I'm Jack <laughs> or Draconics. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Draconics. That's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-E-S. I kind of stream all over the place. So honestly, just follow me. There's the best place to figure out what I'm doing at any given moment because most of the time, I'm not entirely sure until maybe an hour or two prior. Um, but the things that I am, I do know, and I'm fully aware of is that um, on Mondays at 8 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 8 p.m. Pacific, um, I'm over on um, Exquisite Courts Party. Uh, Exquisite Courts Party presents in a campaign called Divine Intervention. And it's every every two weeks you have a um, switching cast and where I play Kronos, the god of time. Um, it's a lot of fun. I I played, a, I'm playing a villain? Question mark? Um, it's a lot, it's, it's very cool, very fun. I'm on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern or it's like what, 1 p.m. Pacific over on Table Story. I'm in a campaign called Kingmakers, where I play a disgraced heir to the throne who is currently fighting demons and demigods and the multiverse. It's, it's very weird, very interesting. Um, and on November the 12th at 3 p.m. Um, Eastern or 12 p.m. Pacific, over on Vanna's channel, we're going to be premiering our Strixhaven campaign, Higher Education. It's very, yes. I'm very excited. Um, Connie is a player. I don't know what direction Connie's in. Connie is a player in there as well. Um, you're not going to want to miss it. Our characters, we had a session 0 0.5 like a couple of weeks ago and it, it was good. It was good. 
Yeah, all of um, our characters are hot as hell. If yeah. you're here for hot caffeinated <laughs> grad students, listen, who hate each other or want to date each other, same thing. Well, yeah, um, honestly, same thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also the co-founder and event organizer of Friends Roll Dice, which is a teach up new Twitch channel. So if you follow um, there, you're going to see a lot of stuff that I'm in the background of helping out. Um, we've got some very cool campaigns in, going on now that come into close and some planned out for 2023. Um, we're also currently doing a charity event, um, Extra Life, doing a 12 hour charity event. So if you check out um, Friends Roll Dice right now and t donate whatever you can, please do, because we're helping, we're helping the kids. Awesome. Um, but that's it from me. I don't know. I, I'm not looking at screens. So I don't know who to throw it to. Um, CB? It's a guess. Yeah. Sure. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, y'all. Uh, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bar. Critical Bar across all social media channels. Not Tumblr. If we got to move to Tumblr, got to figure that part out. <laughs> uh, it's already taken. Anywho, as I said uh, earlier, I'm a professional actor and vocalist from the Midwest. Uh, I do way too much tabletop stuff. I'm a designer for Enter the Motherlands. Uh, you can catch me on uh, many shows with Realm Smith. Uh, catch me uh, doing just everything when I can, how I can. Um, keep supporting Saving Throw Show, but tonight I will be also on uh, D&D uh, Jordan Lee's Twitch channel, Raising Money for Color of Change, tonight and tomorrow. Um, I feel like there's more and I can't think of it off the top of my head, uh, and that's totally You're doing fine. a lot. You're doing a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, that's me. Uh, that, that, that's me. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Thank you so much for, for, for having me. Uh, yeah. Uh, Connie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, everyone. I've been Connie, your favorite arrogant, terrible elf man. Uh, my pronouns are they, he, and she. You can find me all across the internet at by Connie Chong. That's B-Y-C-O-N-N-I-E-C-H-A-N-G. When I'm not here guesting on Saving Throw Show, I am the game master and creative producer for Trans Planer RPG, Sparkle, Sparkle, Sparkle. Uh, we are an all transgender POC-led dark fantasy D&D show set in an original non-colonial anti-orientalist world. Uh, it's got queer angst. It's got eldritch horrors beyond your imagination. Uh, and it's got a lot of hot, butch, emotionally unavailable women. Uh, so if that's your jam, tune in Saturdays at 8 p.m. U.S. Eastern time on Twitch at Trans Planer RPG. As Drax said, I'm also going to be a, a cast member in the upcoming Strixhaven game about grad students trying to achieve godhood or not uh, called Higher Education over on Vanna's channel. That's going to be twitch.tv backslash Vanna. Our premiere date is next Saturday. That's November 12th at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern time. We'll be streaming Saturdays then. So Saturdays can be your Strixhaven and Transplaner days if you so wish. Um, outside of that, I am also working on an upcoming Holy Punk uh, TTRPG uh, PBTA system. Uh, the Ashcan of which is being developed by Magpie Games. It's called God Killer for one uh, player, the God Killer, and one GM God. So follow progress on that at God Killer RPG on Twitter. Uh, hopefully, the Ashcan's going to be up before the end of the year. Uh, we're getting some good developmental editing in. All that's done. We're moving into copy editing. And outside of TTRPGs, I am a narrative designer over at Bungie. Uh, so you can give me a follow on Twitter for all of my musings about various writing related things. And I'm going to toss things up and over to Eric. Oh, hello. My name's Eric. You can find me at Mostly Eric on most of the places on the internet. And and that's about all I got to plug right now. Hashtag Quinny. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long, I had to. <laughs> Oh, yes, you can catch uh, uh, a lot of these folks in shows that we've done in the past on our YouTube. Um, so uh, go check out uh, all of them on all of the wonderful things that they do um, on this channel. And I will bid you all uh, here in, in chat adieu as I switch over to to just moi. But thank you all. Uh, thank you for joining me. Goodbye as I continue this marathon. Solo. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.